baby. Good morning, everyone. It's 62 and um, really nice out here this morning. And for another hot day, we almost hit 90 yesterday. A little warm for April. Certainly warmer than we'd like. It's going to cool off over the weekend, though. Everything in the yard is looking good this morning, including my handsome boy over there. I had to move my solar lights from Walmart. They weren't getting enough sun in the other spot. And I have to say, last night, looking out the window, it looked pretty darn good. I'll have to remember to show you this afternoon because they've closed up a little bit overnight. But this peony, very late day when I didn't have my camera, it was open and it was looking pretty so I'm glad I'm going to get to enjoy those two blooms. Oh, wow. It finished. Look at that. That's pretty much amazing. And yep. Oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know if Don did that on purpose or not because he's worried about it filling up overnight. He might have. We knew this one was going to generate a lot, but... I think he did that on purpose. It's okay. Uh, but wow. If I pop the plate, the magnet plate up, it's just going to come off, I'm sure. Four pegs. Look at the color. That's just amazing. Lucky he lets me do that this time of year. There's a lot of hair, though. Um, what do you know? Those two azaleas over there are blooming. The azaleas in the yard this year have not been very pretty, although that one sure is right now, and that's because the deer ate the tips of, ate all the flowers off. The bushes are fine, but the show for this year is <laughs> not too good. I guess that one didn't get it but the ones over by the carport in particular they're not very showy they got eaten the white pretty white one over there has just got a few blooms this year I am headed to my normal Tuesday errands appointments so the last three nights i've come out to see panther and there's been a either a female or a juvenile possum over here on the blue carpet i've never known them not to just run down the stairs and go away and he just stays over there and he looks at me and i'm like okay hey gray good morning sweetheart hi how are you it's a good girl. Yeah, do I smell like outside and panther a little bit? <laughs> Hi. Well, they did mow up here yesterday, so at least in not walking on Monday, we missed all the mower noise. They've got construction set up at the intersection this morning. Always on Tuesday, it seems. <laughs> Don's on a conference call. There's a performance why like Jules. Well, I guess actually they didn't mow everything. Didn't get it done yesterday. Don't see them out here today yet though. Conference call number two. And this is a couple of nights of baseball games. There's Ruby. And forward to driving my car today. I noticed I hadn't plugged her in in a while. She's got like 155 miles. That should be plenty though. Yep, yeah, 155. And I'm off. 
It's another week where the chiropractor and guardian angel are flipped. My chiro appointment's at noon instead of 11. It, it works out okay. I prefer it the other way, I think. But um, it's not a big deal. I'm glad we got our walk in this morning. Although, you know, I wish for Dawn that, um, and me, <laughs> that we could just enjoy the walk and not have all these conference calls. But, you know, getting paid while you're outside in the fresh air and walking is, you know, better than sitting at your dark desk. So, and we all have plenty of time coming up where we won't have other things going on during the walk. So. why she dinged there because she says the speed limit's 25 and I was doing like 10. Maybe she was still had the five mile an hour from the driveway. I do see that I have autopilot this morning. So that's good. One of my neighbors has come up behind me really close like they are in a rush. Well I got news for them. I'm coming to a stop over here and I'm gonna look both ways and then I'm gonna go. the other way which is good <laughs> oh wow so they had laid new surface or a sealer and now they're laying more surface and yes that was a red model s <clears throat> ruby did tell me to come this way so i came this way i thought what they put down was awful thin but what do i know about asphalt and roads and stuff but i guess they're not done with even this section and they still have you know a lot more road ahead that they hadn't even started on yet but hey they're not out there working first thing this morning so I'm happy about that I just would have gone the other way if I just had a way to know for sure right I mean it's better for the construction guys if people take alternate routes and they can get the job done with less traffic underfoot so <clears throat> there's a why I've been seeing a silver, there's an Ionic 5, I've been seeing a silver Model 3 like the last three weeks in a row on this road. So mm -hmm. we'll see if we see that this morning too. Obviously they're on the same schedule as me, or I'm on the same schedule as them. Yesterday Don and I were, um, you know, sad to hear about the layoffs at Tesla. We didn't have a chance to watch any YouTubes in the evening digesting it, but I did read one long post on X and um, yeah, we have a, a friend that was personally affected by it and it's just rough, you know? And then there's all the all the posts this morning is this Tesla's demise. Uh, this is in the Facebook Divas group. You know, because everybody that's driving a Tesla now isn't a, here comes the Silver 3. Yep. Um, you know, uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. Um, yeah, I saw the post uh, about the layoffs and somebody was saying you know this is not the first time and elon uh commented on the long append i think i can't remember i don't know how to say the guy's name it started with it last name started with an f i should go look it up i'll put it up if i can remember <laughs> here um you know where he digested the the rationale behind it why it's potentially the right thing why it's a you know a, a difficult thing losing talent um drew Bagliano leaving um, you know it's always hard on those that don't want to go that are affected I saw you know this happened many a time at IBM many many a time um, uh, you know I'm basically at the very very end when they offered me money to leave a, a, a buyout a, a you know a encouragement uh, you know it's hard so um, sometimes the people at IBM would land somewhere else in the in the company. Most of the times, not. 
oftentimes they'd come back as contractors if they really wanted back in the door but you know sometimes companies don't want full-time benefit employees because they're very expensive and the longer they stay with the company the more expensive they become and so retraining fresh blood is really hard but um, sometimes in a financial books um, stay profitable struggle that's what companies seem to do um, I would say with Tesla that um, they need the talent but they seem to in the past have overcome specific people leaving and maintained the talent that they needed so to move forward anyway these actions are always are always hard for those for those affected so um, Don and I were watching that talking about it yesterday a bit so a few of you have um, asked about Johnny and what's uh, you know how school's going when's he done for the year stuff like that and um, things seem to be going well we are planning to um, bring him home on May the 2nd he'll be done with all of his final exams by then and um, he's got two finals and one is a project that he's been working on instead of a final exam so it is about you know wrapped up for him um, he's looking forward to some robotics competitions early summer and late summer and um, probably not taking classwork this summer, but uh, the door is open for a class at Wake Tech if uh, that is of benefit to him and his goals at the school. So, um, you know, Don should have his project in a state where he's able to take the day off to come down, you know, to help move Johnny. We're probably going to take the GMC and Ruby. We talked briefly about doing a U-Haul, but by the time you pick it up, load it up, because there's all that room, you've got to make sure things don't move around and then take, return it. That's just a lot of extra overhead. And it would be nice to make a towing video with Ruby towing the U-Haul or something, but it might just really not be better for us. So, um, at this time we're, we're not going to do that we know we can't fit it all back in the GMC we could barely fit it in the GMC to take it down there and then you know things have been added along the way and plus when we loaded up to move him in I had worked with Johnny the week ahead to really neatly pack everything and it was all in its original boxes and wrappers and hadn't been assembled yet and all that good stuff and you know it just that's not the way it's going to be. Johnny will spend some time getting things ready to ready for us to pick up, but realistically, we we don't. He doesn't have all of the laundry baskets or containers or um, you know, things that we even use to pack it. So, um, I mean, there's only so much he can do without those things. All right, I've got right at an hour until time for my chiropractor's appointment and. So, probably 45 minutes till I need to be headed out of the parking lot here. I'm just checking out the Hertz fleet today. You see two Model 3s and a Bolt. And an EV6. This is definitely a Hertz car with the New York plate in the front. No badging? I'm confused. None? Zero? Nada? Okay, these look interesting and it's Centura by Corning. I've not seen these before. They're not marked, you know, dishwasher, microwave, safe, or whatever. I have to wonder. 
Seems pretty substantial though. I don't see any must-have boxes. I'm always looking to take home some nice ones. Wow, another fancy bike. I guess this one's supposed to look a little vintage. I'm super tempted to take that home, except for I don't feed the birds anymore. And I am wondering if it would eventually chip and rust, but it's a, it's a pretty nice bird feeder. Well, Sam is the proud owner of a brand new, somebody must have paid a fortune for it, Neiman Marcus long sleeve wrinkle free dress shirt. <laughs> It's a really nice shirt. And um, I got several things for Michelle. She's very excited about this crystal, pearl, clam, oyster um, knickknack thing. And uh, she doesn't know, but I picked her up a Yoda. He was only $2. I couldn't leave him there. I mean a Grogu. You know what I mean. The baby. The child. Yeah, really nice shirt. And then Michelle got this Chico's jacket. Here's Grogu. And there's a gnome. Oh, I got a, got a dress just in case this summer. And a gnome. And then she wrapped up the little crystal. But yeah, Michelle likes gnomes too. Yeah, I probably could have used 10 more minutes to look in there and um, 10 minutes to run over to Food Lion. So I do really like going to, to the chiropractor first. That way then I'm not gated because, you know, the chiropractor takes the same amount of time every week, but the shopping is a little variable. So not the end of the world. We have one more bag of the Food Lion brand pork rinds that we are using now that we don't buy Uts anymore. <laughs> don't want Dawn to run out though. You can always get them at the Fuquay store. My left knee was giving me problems on our walk this morning. I feel like I don't have any choice but to tell her to do my knee instead of my back. It's unfortunate. But I haven't given my knee any love for several weeks and I'm feeling it. I mean, I'm feeling it walking in here now too. I highly value my ability to uh, do my walks. Well, hello there, Performance Model X. Janice was able to do my knee and my back, and I'd have to say right this minute, my knee is feeling a lot better. Yeah, we usually do my knee once or twice a month, but we haven't been alternating lately because my back has needed it so bad. And Anyway, I just wish I could have spent an hour there, maybe moved it to another spot and stayed a little longer. <laughs> That's the only thing I wish. I was pretty cozy in the chair today. No, I'm not going to open the rest of the way. I moved too slow today, Ruby. Well, Ruby says it's 80 out there. I think I will stop at the Goodwill today. I'm in the mood and I have time. I'd like to come across some inexpensive um, small to medium sized plant pots. They are so expensive, even at Walmart. Definitely at Home Depot and Lowe's. Designer. I'm like, really, folks, it's huge markups. Huge. As I backed into this parking space, Ruby did offer, I guess, to finish parking or park for me. Um, you know, I'm a nervous city, parallel, really pull-in parking kind of a person. And I really hope it'll continue to improve to where, you know, I want that parallel and I can 100% count on the car getting me in and out of it. That, that will really be helpful for me for my driving. <laughs> I just avoid those spots for multiple reasons one of which is yeah they just can be hard to get in of and out of although on main street fuquay the main problem is is all of the people waiting on you to do your parking maneuver and the stress and the time and stuff it won't help if the car does it but there's a time or two i'm like can i do that spot or not i really want that spot and if i could be sure if the car would do it that would be that would be awesome well i did good in there today too 
sheets really lightweight two dollars each that's going in the frost cover the plants or if i need it for anything else got some halloween bags can't decide if i'm going to keep them or give them to michelle cannot believe this pyrex bowl was four dollars and this one was six dollars i mean they go for a lot more than that i don't i yeah and then I'm going to try to use this as a plant pot because it was inexpensive and pretty blue and I just, uh, it's in a covered area so I'll probably put an insert in it so it can still drain but on the outside you'll see this. I'm going to take a quick peek in Walmart for the usual suspects, plants, Hot Wheels, and Legos. I picked this up. The white pot it's in is actually not too bad, but I was sort of planning on dropping that in that blue pot. Over by the carport. I also found a green Rivian and a red Model S Matchbox. No Lego deals, no minifigures or poly bags or anything I couldn't live without. And I didn't walk the whole rest of the store. I just went to the garden center and toy area. I really don't appreciate it when these trucks do this. And the concrete guy just parked too, so it's not like I can just go around to the other side. It's such a small parking area that it's just, there's parking on the other side of the shopping center where it's not as busy and it's a bigger parking area and over here is not there. <laughs> There's a red Y, a silver S, and a blue Y. I waited around for a bit and the cement truck moved and I parked up there. I kept forgetting to look and Ruby has automatic set speed offset is not enabled. Um, so she didn't have that when it was installed, that option, it didn't turn on, it's off. And I just saw her with the little down arrow again, checking for updates. I swear it didn't used to do that. When they added the, somebody's watching you <laughs> little, symbol up here that comes on when for me tesla fi is checking the car uh, i don't notice it very often but they must have also uploaded that i'm checking the software level notification because that was not doing that last year um anyway i've had my snack i'm done with my groceries and i am headed to the house i don't think i'm stopping anywhere coming through town well, at this point in the day, I am um, ha very happy to let Ruby do the vast majority of the driving. I guess on the way home with no more stops to make, I engage it and she takes me home, you know, pretty much the whole way. And it's just, it is um, not very, you know, it's very stress-free. decided to go straight today um you know okay with that wow traffic is backed up from the construction all the way to mineral springs park no thank you i think i'll go around <laughs> i mean seriously it's backed up over here all the way to the light i don't know how far that is but it's far I will go in the back way and thank goodness for a back way. Oh, look at the pretty irises. Other years I have come and taken pictures of those. Maybe I should get out the big camera. Hi, it cannot be 5.30 already. <laughs> I didn't get everything done I want to do yet today. Hey, Gray. For Year of the Dragon, in honor of the Chinese restaurant, not having buildings ready to go on the shelf, etc., etc., had these lying around. I put the green dragon, which I've had on display before, the blue dragon, opened him up out of the bag from Guardian Angel, and the red dragon. 
opened him up out of the bag from Guardian Angel. And um, I had to reassemble and reassemble just a little bit. This guy's missing one of these pieces. Uh, I have a feeling I'm going to come across it. And when I do, I'll put it with it. This one is not real Lego. And it was half built wrong. And um, it's missing its tail. <laughs> So when I go to pack stuff up, obviously I'm going to keep the really nice Ninjago ones. But um, I had to have Don help me with one of the Technique parts because it was just not fitting right. And um, the little ball joint and other joint things that are supposed to be clicky and firm and everything, they're not. So if I, if I touch him, he just kind of disintegrates. But since I had him... And in honor of the dragon, and because I don't have anything to put there right now. Oh, yeah, and down at the bottom. Uh, he, he can stay for a couple of weeks, a month. Uh, then I'll probably donate him to Guardian Angel. But tell Helen and the ladies to put like $5 on him because he's not all there. And I brought down the International Space Station and my little solar system. Well, the Earth, the Moon, and the Sun. Um... Lego has out a brand new kit of this that looks really super cool, but I hand built that one um, about five years ago. It cranks and the moon goes around the earth while the earth goes around the sun. It's pretty cool. There's a video out there of it. Anyway, just filling it up until I'm ready to fill it up. Hi. Yeah. I know. Can I shut the door? Let me shut the door back. Time for bag two. You gonna help nighttime? Hey, he's got two legs now. Bag two is done. Yay! And Don helped me get some uh, more of my stuff for the yard. Yard art. <laughs> Down from uh, overhead in the garage. So in the morning I got, you know, things out to put out. been 24 hours and no leaks no water I put a piece of paper underneath it so that any any water drops tend to show up on the on the paper so I'm gonna call it a success yay just checking out my lights I have kitties. Hi, Morris. <laughs> yeah, I came out here. I had to use the app to turn the light off momentarily. I couldn't enjoy them out the window, but when I walked past it, it, of course. Well, we just skirted the smallest rain shower ever, but there was this one loud crack of thunder. I wish we had gotten a 10-minute shower. I would have been very pleased, but nope. Hi, boys. Thank you.